Welcome back to episode 8 of the post-comp progress series. Uh, just missed a virtual firemaking level number 102. Uh, just casually doing some firemaking here while I do uh, homework and studying for classes. Uh, throwing some maples onto the bonfire just for the Bernie pet chance. Oh, and yet again, getting the loot before I expect to. There's the end of a hard clue. Just got Zamorak chaps, so that's also something new. Alright, and here's the elite clue. Same run. And a ancient crow's ear. Well, I don't know why it's worth so much more than the rest of them, uh, but I guess it's something new. Oh no, it turned out that these Zamorak chaps were not, in fact, unique. I had a feeling that they weren't, but, uh, oh well. Just did familiarization, trying to get myself the, uh, pieces of the summoning bonus XP set. So, let's see. There we go. Got the top for it. And, um, it's actually not that bad. I can use those water orbs. Uh, maybe not the adamant bar so much. I could put those into titans or something, but, uh, those will be good for alchemists. Alright, doing just a BM today, but let's loot. Uh, okay, you know, double food and U logs, that's actually really nice uh, fletching XP. I will happily take that. Alright, have uh, components to collect from all of those uh, bows that got disassembled. Bam! There you go, you can see what's, uh, what's going on. Quite a few enhancing and precious. Those are actually my sling rings, that's right. And uh, then lots of Dexterous Precise, which I ran, I think I almost ran out of at one point. And then uh, some strong components as well, so that's pretty good. Alright, so I just totaled it up with what I have in the bank. And uh, all of the like enhancing components I have over here. Uh, then everything I have to make equipment siphons. And uh, afterwards, fishing rod -omatics. And I've got just about 70 million invention XP banked. Totally okay with that number for the time being. I'll get a lot of extra parts from scavenging over time, uh, as I will be going back to Shattered Worlds eventually. I'm sure I'll be camping Firewatch at some point. You know, I'll just, I'll get the drops over time. It'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, that's enough invention grinding for now. It's back to Slayer whenever I have the opportunity to, that is. Uh, just did one task. About to go do a Creatures of the Lost Grove task. And, um... Then gonna do a full raid that I'm already in the group for. And, uh, yeah. Gonna have to go back to studying. It's gonna be kind of a short episode uh, this time around. Um, but I'm gonna try to get in some, some gains when I have the opportunity to. And there's the full raid complete. Um, don't have rerolls yet. And uh, I can still go do Nimi Forest for today. I just did it, like, right before reset. Gonna do it right after. Uh, but I'm still a little bit off. So, yeah, let me just get Luck of the Dwarves on. Where's that at? Throw that on and um, just go for the loot anyway. Collect loot. Yakamaru. Okay, that's that's all right, I guess. Beastmaster. Oh, yes! I got it! <laughs> Finally! Finally! <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I'm so happy. Uh, corru Mascab teleport? No. Uh, corruption shot is is definitely the answer. And I'm getting close to the uh, the next thing. I'm gonna go bury this burial charm, but I'm getting close to the next ability as well. Uh, just in pure techie. Yeah, so 11.3k out of 15k for corruption blast, and then I'll get storm shards eventually. Pretty happy about that. And there we go, level 111 Slayer. That's a nice pickup right there. Um, super dry on these gloves though, man. I am just really salty. I think Overfletch has three pairs in like 330 KC. Let's just look. I've got 20 left on the task. 452. And I'm pretty sure the drop rate is somewhere in the 2 to 300 range, so... Yeah, you could, you could say I'm salty. So, uh, me and Pert PPC are achieving, happen to, uh, share the same homeworld. He shows up and he's like, hey, just about to pick up 200 mil Slayer. Yeah, he's, uh, about 20k away, so he ended up popping. Um, but hey, congrats to him. He's also really close to 4 bill overall XP. Like, I wish I had these stats right now. <laughs> 
Uh, I've got quite a bit of time before I get to, uh, you know, a single 200 mil, let alone, uh, what, what would that be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, number eight. Oh, man. Another task dry on Lost Grove creatures. Let me just pop up the kill count. I even did a few kills after the task was over. 592. Got another 101, though, back to back. And uh, gonna alk this just for the bank spot. Yeah, I'll take the extra mil. Finally! Finally! I. Ah! Uh, <sighs> okay, what was the final kill count? Lost Grove 615. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm just glad to have that out of the way so now I can just pick up the souls and get out of here really quickly. Right? Yeah, something like that. Alright, doing another uh, hard and elite casket. Let's open the hard. Oh, H1 runeplate body and another fortunate component. Uh, I guess I'll take that. And uh, the elite unlock. And that's pretty horrible. Glad I can reroll. Wow. Even worse. Here's another attempt at Tertius. And nothing. Oh, and that marked uh, 500 tasks in a row for 300 more Slayer points. I didn't know that was coming just yet, but uh, that's pretty cool. Getting yet another piece of this statue. Maybe, eventually, I will finish it uh, for that trim requirement. If I go for trim, I, I don't know about that. Yeah, so it currently has 14 pieces added. There are 16 to go, but I have two in my inventory, which puts me uh, just over halfway there. I believe it requires 15 weeks. Yeah, that sounds right, and I've got uh, 8 done, 7 to go. Alright, so I just found probably... My new favorite Slayer task, I just did uh, an Elf Slayer task in Kadarn, uh, which is, you know, okay, understandable, they're pretty closely grouped. Some people like to aggro pot them. Corruption shot with Cinderbane gloves, it's just lovely. I was able to consistently turn to a new target that had already been downed to half HP and just kill it with one or two hits like a mutated dazing shot and a sacrifice to get a good heal. Just, it was so good. I love it. Oh, and just to be clear, I was clocking about 330,000 to 350,000 Slayer XP per hour there. Um, I make my my general estimate at uh, for Slayer XP to be around uh, 250 to 300k. Uh, so anything that gets over that is just, you know, icing on the cake. All right, probably the end of a clue here. Bam. Uh, that's... that's nothing. Reroll into... okay, combo. Sure. And uh, let's try to pop open this casket real quick. Anything? Okay, thank you, Alt-1. And... there. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Also, nothing. You know, it's a real shame that Alkin doesn't upload RS3 content to hardly ever. So I just have to put him in mine. And look at that. Wouldn't you believe it? I do a raid with Alkin. He shares a little bit of my luck and gets a codex. Alright, time to loot Yakamaru. Okay. And Beastmaster. Just about as bad. Yeah, getting close to the next ability with Techie, though. Oh, so this was a, like, 57% chance or something like that to succeed. But I finally got the Caridian Exile, which is the last of the, uh, the, like, Solidarity guys here in ports. Uh, so yeah, pretty happy about that. Now I can replace my Judge of Dice with them, and, uh, yeah, right off the bat. And, uh, start to upgrade my ships to where they have, like, perfect crews. So I'm, I'm almost there already. So you have six of the Seafaring, six of the morale, which I have seven of because I need another merchant. And then six of the combat, which I've already got, as well as the recommended captains. Uh, all this stuff can be, can be found uh, if you look up like Portsmaster Kags, K-A-G-S. Same guy that takes you to the Sunken Pyramid. Yeah, he has a big ports guide. Uh, you can look up if you're, if you're curious about ports, but yeah, I'm happy that I have, I finally have that, so now I can just start knocking out the, uh, 
the last scroll requirements in here <laughs> very slowly over time and then uh, just start farming ancient bones for more scrimshaws. Hey, here's something fun. Going to uh, siphon my Nox staff and BAM! Invention, what is that, 128? Yeah. And there's 510 tasks complete. Well, there's the end of a Rax Reaper task that I started a long time ago. Anything? No. Hey, nice, another pheromone for the bank. Okay, this just feels wrong. I have a small protein pack on an Iron Man. What the... Uh, okay, I'll take all. I think... I think the best one here is got, has got to be smithing. Just, um... Yeah, crafting is so much easier to do than smithing, and, and like nothing else is really a good choice, so... Yeah. Man, that feels wrong. I find it uh, really strange that the wild arrow drop here... Uh, the tier 85 arrows, uh, it makes your Luck of the Dwarf shine every single time uh, they drop. So I guess they're decently rare? Uh, I have no idea, honestly. But, I mean, it's just a tier 85 arrow, like, is it really that rare? That's, that's strange. You know, I really... I really try to avoid Lava Strike Worms, and that's... Mmm just died because a group of four came out to PK me. Uh, I only ended up losing, like, Culinary Mentor Gauntlets, which I can go get back, Sun Spear, which I can get back. Uh, annoyed that I lost my scavenging on it. Um, but, like, seriously, guys? Like, you're not gonna get anything from fucking killing me, like, less than a mil. Is it really worth that? I know I probably shouldn't because, you know... People will just want to target me more often. But if you're the kind of person that goes out of your way just to ruin someone else's day, you're a real asshole, and, and you probably shouldn't. Okay? You're like the worst kind of person. Nice. Got a uh, 110 ranged. So that's, that's a pretty good level. Um, just doing Kree Aura. It's a uh, AVNC task. And I figure I should come, I want my armadillo boots eventually, but, uh, duplicates of other armadillo items are good. You know, boss tasks, boss tasks, uh, in general, are good. And here I was hoping for an actual drop, but it's just War Priest of Armadillo Gauntlets. Uh, so I guess that's another component, uh, towards more precise fives, if I ever bother making them again. I don't know, I may just hold on to it. This time... You guys get an extra special clue opening, starting with a medium. Wow, that's that's actually not bad. I'll take it. Bandos robe top, that's something new. Uh, hard. Got nothing. And uh, elite. Bam. Ooh, Zamorak page three. I'm not sure if that's new or not. Let's uh, let's go check the bank actually. Da 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 da. Oh, no, okay, so Zamorak page two. Also got three of those. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't have that many pages, I know. Well, it definitely feels wrong to have these and be using these. At least they give decent XP. There's level 100 smithing, though. Started off today by doing just a little bit of this and that. See, again, I have a uh, perfect plus potion running. It's because I went got some more gold bars. Put the gold bars I had in my disassembler for simple parts. And, uh, yeah, I thought I should get some more. Did, like, I don't know, 20 minutes of fletching or something like that. And, uh, also picked up a thieving level by accident. So, yeah, 102 thieving. Uh, gonna go start on that Slayer grind again, though. And, uh, tomorrow, when this video goes up, I'm not sure. I may actually wait until the day after for this to go up. Uh, but I will be streaming tomorrow. And I'm going to try to get my most XP earned in 24 hours ever. I'm going to try to break my own record, uh, at least according to, um, uh, what's it called? Rune Tracker. Uh, so yeah, that means I'm going to try to break 6.6 .6 million XP in a 24-hour period, which, uh, yeah, it'll be fun. See, Overfletch just hit 120 Slayer, and, uh, you know, I can't have him stepping me up on the gains, right? Like, my, my channel is all about the gains. I'm Alkin, with those gains and uh 
overfletch doing like five mil slayer days I, I can't have that just happening whenever i'm you know casually doing like two mil here and there oh nice just uh as i start doing slayer i got the crocodile axel uh so that's good one more off the list um it's pretty cool i have all of the axles that i have available uh so far oh yeah i uh just remembered that i meant to talk about the little PKing incident, the lava strike worms and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be avoiding those tasks whenever I uh, get them from now on. Uh, they're pretty low weight, so they're not worth blocking. Uh, but seeing as I have around 100 um, uh, potions, 100 aggression potions worth of searing ashes, maybe a little bit more, maybe 110, 120, uh, I'm not really in desperate need of the searing ashes. Uh, the only thing I could really get from them is the soul, since I don't believe I have that. Uh, and I didn't even have enough shop D on me at the time, since I forgot I needed the soul. Um, so yeah, it's it's just not worth the trouble. Uh, I really don't like the wilderness, as I'm sure you guys understand by now. <laughs> um, yeah, I've lost a little bit out there before. And I just, I really don't, uh, don't care for it on Iron Man mode, at least going out there and um, risking different things that you, well, you know, you're not a main account, you can't just go back to a GE, pick up whatever you lost, uh, it's a little bit different. Um, so either I'll be going out there with, like, you know, Royal Crossbow and, and Royal Dragonhide or something and, and just not do that well, or um, I go out there with, like, you know, my perk Sunspear and I ended up losing the, the perks on it, which just kind of sucked. Um, so yeah, uh, it, it's no big rush. I only really use aggression pots at like two different places. I use uh, two doses per abyssal demon task and two doses per shadow creature task. And uh, the shadow creature one isn't even necessary. It's just kind of a quality of life thing. But with them all in your personal slayer dungeon. Oh, cool. Got a uh, imperial district reputation thing. Uh, but with them all in your personal Slayer dungeon, if I end up getting Chroming sometime in the future, Chain will just hit everything in the room. Um, so yeah, it's not that big of a deal to have them. Um, yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. Oh, I was very awkwardly recording for a long time there, but I wasn't expecting that drop. A Kofesh. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll get a tier 92 main hand one day all right there's another full raid done yakamaru that's that's actually not that bad and uh collect loot oh right bank beastmaster okay bank that as well but i can come on over here look at that tech account sixteen thousand. i will get corruption blast that's another good uh DPS improvement. Yes, unlock the Corruption Blast ability. And that means I can take Rack off of my bar, right? Let me see. Where is it at? There we go. Perfect DPS. New record at QBD. Doing a QBD, sl or, well, Black Dragon Slayer task. Decided to come to QBD. And, uh, yeah, 119 personal record. Just got a Palm Seed RDT along with Soft Clay. That's actually pretty good. And I uh, got some super restores earlier too, those are really starting to add up in the bank. Oh, there's another record that could have actually been uh, 2 or 3 seconds shorter, 116. Alright, first proper drop is a royal sight. Are these, like, even good drops anymore? I I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I completely missed it, but uh, I completed a reaper task as well. I got a, uh, you know, pick your own reaper, so figure if I'm already doing QBD, I may as well yeah, just pick QVD. So, that's what I did. And a royal frame. Really? Never got one before today, and now I have two. Well, that's something. Alright, and this will be a uh, fun one. Just pick up the kill, and bam! 520 tasks in a row. Uh, you can see I'm doing Salawas now. I was just testing their XP an hour. Uh, it's right around 400k. Um, without an aggro pod, and it's around 450 to 500k with the aggro pod on, so that's another good place to use them. 
All right, went around to collect some souls. Let's just throw these in the chest. There's Crocodile Ack that I got yesterday. Cave Horror, Jungle Horror, Crawling Hand, Fever Spider, Ghoul, and Banshee. And uh, yeah, that gives me the 3% Slayer XP boost. That's uh, something I was kind of looking for. Now off to Glacehorse, see if I can get some boots. Well, there's some uh, random fireworks for 40 mil ranged XP. And uh, I know it doesn't show it. The, the counter thing is like 10k behind. Oh nice, uh, just two kills into a rune dragon task and I pick up the, uh, the soul for it. It's a pretty good day for souls for me, but uh, I think this is actually a pretty rare one. Those magic levels are really getting up there. Number 114. Only, uh, uh, 47 mil to 120? <laughs> I, uh, should reach it before 120 Slayer, though. Uh, since I was going to go to sleep pretty soon, I uh, went ahead and closed OBS, but I had to open it back up for this Maul reward. Scrimshaw of Sacrifice. That's, uh, one hour of sacrificing drops to get, uh, I think it's 50% more Slayer and Combat XP. Uh, so that's pretty insane. Uh, thing is I have a gemstone dragon task currently. Uh, gonna use that, you know, whenever I start streaming tomorrow. I have decided I am going to upload this uh, a day later. I know I had said previously that it's gonna be uh, four days, or five days max to a video. Uh, but this one's gonna be six because it was a busy week and I didn't get that many hours in anyway. And, uh, there. There's the Slayer level, 112 need to record that 129 invention. I thought it was a Ripper Claw. I was actually kind of excited. It's a Raptor key piece though. So that's that's something. And just after I got the shield left half. So that's something. Well the stream is now over. And the video is now over as well. This is the end of uh, part eight of post comp progress. Uh, yeah, so I ended up getting up to uh, 112 Slayer, as y'all saw, and part of the way through that level. Uh, didn't get a ton of Slayer today. I really don't know how, how people push quite so much uh, Slayer in a single day. I guess if you just really focus on it, it, it goes by, and you have to play, I don't know, more than I do. Um, up to 761 mil total XP. Um, you all saw all the drops and stuff like that that happens. And I did a little bit of racks uh, to end off the stream, and not much happened. So yeah, that's the end of this episode. I know it's a day late, but I did do a stream yesterday, which was kind of fun. Or today? It'll be yesterday when the video goes up. Um, and I did put up a video yesterday anyway uh, for one year anniversary of my account. Uh, it's something that I completely forgot about. I intended to upload on it. Uh, so even though the upload didn't go up until almost 10 p.m. my time, at least it happened. Uh, yeah. Uh, so also be expecting a video probably two weeks from now uh, that'll be outside of my normal uploads. That'll be like a one year of making videos. That's something to look forward to as well. You'll hear all the nerdgasms from drops and from pets and stuff like that. I'll have to go back through all my old footage and find all of that uh, since it's always worth a rewatch. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.